find that um, a lot of the community pillars that are especially corporate partners are looking towards also have a focus on diversity and inclusion. So knowing that our goals and visions are aligning with their goals and missions and visions is really helpful uh, when we're looking to do those grant applications and to create work um, in alignment with them. And some examples that we've recently had are a water wheelchair that we call a seahorse that is now available at our aquatic spray decks in the county. So that's useful in the summer. Uh, reduces barriers for participants who may be in a wheelchair or might not have the best mobility. We've been able to host free paranautic ski opportunities, both in rural and urban areas, as well as an accessible skate that just reduced um, barriers with cost, with sound, with space, and just allowed participants to come and have uh, an experience that was comfortable for them. Having worked here since 2016, I have felt that there is a bit of an attitude, I don't want to say shift, but I've worked in other workplaces before where you just get the sense that people are not willing to admit where there are shortcomings within the organization or there are challenges and I think that as Strathcona County they have looked at with this development of a diversity and inclusion policy that it's admitting that there are shortcomings here and that we need to do more and I think that people are very receptive and when I talk to other people in the county they're very vulnerable about the fact that there are a lot of places that we need to improve and that we we lack in diversity and inclusion services to the public initiatives with our staff knowledge for our staff as well and I think that we've made great leaps and bounds. I certainly wouldn't say that we're anywhere close to a finish line and I think it's just different from other places that I've worked before.